The tumour is composed of multiple cells other than just the tumour cells themselves. These can be immune cells and stroma and all of these are changed during the course of treatments. Um, we've been finding from radiation based work that certain components of the tumour microenvironment can drive radio resistance. For a long time we've known that the physiological condition of hypoxia can drive tumour cell radio resistance but more recently we're understanding that hypoxia can also drive how some of these specific immune cells within the microenvironment are changed during radiation treatment. With radiation treatment we, are, we do recognise that hypoxia is, plays an important role there. It drives direct resistance of the tumour cells to radiation which is one component but we're starting to understand more how hypoxia is influencing behaviour of other cell types within the tumour microenvironment and how this also contributes to radiation resistance. So if we look at how hypoxia develops and then changes during the course of radiation treatment, we can see that tumours that retain high levels of hypoxia tend to have a much worse outcome.